Welcome to 2020. In the beginning of each year, people always say stuff like New Year, New Me. Uh, I'm not one for saying stuff like that, but it just so happens that I've been thinking about a way to somehow revolutionize this channel for quite some time now. And starting 2020, I actually intend to upload different kinds of videos than the ones I've been doing so far. I've been thinking about a new fresh format for quite some time now and I think I got it. So that's actually the reason why we are here in the middle of the forest because I think what would be more interesting as opposed to sitting at home talking to the camera, teaching you or walking you through Photoshop tutorials would be to actually bring you guys with me to the scene where I shoot my photos and I thought this would be the first location among many others. So right now I'm actually sitting on top of a rock here in the middle of Hoover Village Forest. And the reason why we're here is because of what you just saw in the intro. This place is a very famous spot among photographers because of the children's railway that actually goes right behind me all the way up to I don't even know where. And it's a very unique attraction that is right here, a little bit outside of Budapest. And a lot of photographers usually come here to check it out and to take photos of it. In fact, as far as I know, there are some warning signs along the train tracks, uh, warning uh, photographers to be very careful. So if you ever come here, if you ever do decide to try yourself out here and take some photos, be very mindful and just, just, just look out, okay? Just watch out. So obviously the reason why I'm here is to take a photo of the train and to show you guys my sort of thinking process behind the photo, how I'm gonna compose it, how I'm gonna shoot it, and just basically to give you a more insider look into what goes on. Kind of vloggish, but I don't wanna call it like a traditional vlog because vlogs are so 2017, right? Now, one extra detail to mention, which makes this place just even more awesome, is that on the weekends, Sometimes, instead of the regular train, they're gonna send a steam locomotive. So, they're gonna send a train that is run by a steam engine and that just looks even more badass. So, obviously, it's Sunday right now and I know exactly when the steam engine is gonna be arriving because you can find the schedule on the internet and we're gonna be taking a photo of that steam engine and not the regular train. And right now, we're gonna go and discover this place. So, let's go you guys what this place actually looks like so right about here and here is a proper hiking trail you can meet bikers runners and hikers pretty much all the way but still the place is pretty secluded so one more reason why it's very popular among photographers but what I want to show you is that right here underneath the hiking trail go the train tracks and if I can go down here without breaking my neck I can actually show you what it looks like. So that's pretty much where Hubert Schwerd is. You can't see the station obviously because I've walked quite a bit, but that's where the train comes from uh, originally and it goes all the way up to God knows where. And then it's gonna be coming back on these same train tracks. So you can take some pretty cool photos basically anywhere along the lines of the train tracks but we're gonna try to find a special spot somewhere where it's gonna work really well all right so last time i was here i took this photo and this is pretty much the location where i took that train was coming from that direction and uh and i was like pretty much right in the same exact spot where i am at this moment and if you just go sort of low here that's my tripod, by the way. So if you just go kind of low here, you can get like a really nice perspective on the train. And and of course, you're gonna have these awesome leading lines going for you. So yeah, this was a nice spot, but I'm not gonna do this again because uh, I don't wanna do the same shot twice. So let's look for something better. Yeah, so that's it. As I said, it's getting cold. Yeah, you know it's getting cold when you can't move your fingers properly. Anyway, so I've been uh, I've been searching for a nice spot to take this photo for like 20 minutes, and I think I found it. So I'm gonna show you right now what it is. But first, uh, I need to, you know. It's 
so the spot that I found is basically this because as you can see there's a nice little curve in the train tracks over there which in my opinion makes the photo a little bit more mysterious so when the train is gonna arrive there you're gonna be able to see the very front of it but you're not gonna be able to see like the back of it which in my opinion creates a nice little uh, mysterious vibe Plus, of course, it's, uh, it's a little bit more of an interesting leading line than if it was just like a straight line. So I still have a little bit of time to kill before the train actually arrives, but I do need to switch lenses. Plus, I need to get ready for the shot so that I'm fully prepared uh, when the train comes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, switch lenses and see you guys after I took the photo. Holy moly. Well, it was pretty damn good. They sent the real Hogwarts train. I'm telling you, there was steam coming out of it from every direction. It was a really nice train and I think the photos are good as well. But let's go home and I'm going to show you what we got. All right, welcome back. Uh, hold on, let me put this on the tripod. Yeah, that's good. All right, so welcome back, uh, guys. As you can see right now, I'm already in my room and I actually just finished editing the photos, you know, importing all of them, selecting the ones that I like and actually going through the editing process. And I think I ended up with this particular shot that you can see right now on the screen. I think that one is the best. As you can see in the image, I actually ended up using some of these leaves that were hanging right there where I was taking this photo. I just took a couple of those leaves and I sort of put them in front of the lens to create some out of focus elements. So that's what you can see on the bottom of the image. And in case you're wondering, this is shot on the Sigma 60 millimeter F 2.8 because I wanted a more narrow shot and I wanted those out of focus elements to be a little bit more punchy as well. So that's why I eventually opted for that lens. All right, so that was actually it for today, guys. Let me know what you think of the final image that we got, as well as what you think of this new video format. I had a blast shooting it, and I think when I end up putting it together, it's gonna look really, really good. So I'm very excited, and I look forward to shooting more of these, but I also wanna know what you guys thought. So as always, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't already, and most importantly, follow me on Instagram because that's where you can connect with me the most easily and that's where you can find my own photography as well. So see you in the next video and until then, peace.